What's up guys? Do you have trouble getting girls? Well, I can't help you with that, but I can teach you music theory. So if you see on our whiteboard that we have our chords, so we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. On the keyboard, that's how it goes in white notes. So the chord for C would go C as a first, E as a third, G as a fifth, and so on and forth for every chord. And um, these can be, these chords can be changed between minor chords and major chords, diminished chords, and uh, augmented. So under minor, so with the first making minor chords, what you need to do is you need to take the first, leave it the same, and then for the third, you would flat the third, or take it down a half step, and leave the fifth the same. So if we had C, which we have up here, we have C for the first, E for the third, and G for the fifth, and we obviously need to flat that fifth, so your C chord would be, your C minor chord would be C, E flat, G, instead of C, E, G, which would be the major. And um, so if you wanted to do a D, it would, you would put down your notes, D, F, A, and you would flat the third. There's your D minor chord. So major, obviously, if you, it's the first, the third, and the fifth, and you don't do anything with these. So for C, it'd be C, E, G, Oh, and hold on, I lied. Okay, so for the D, it would be DFA because D is in the key of D, it's naturally, F is naturally sharp. Um, but for major, if you wanted to do a D major chord, it would be F sharp A because in the key of D, F is sharp and C is sharp. So um, diminished chords, your first stays the same, your third gets flatted and your fifth gets flatted. So for C, it would go C, E flat, G flat. So on and forth, it would go D, F, A flat. And with your other keys, it'd be the same. And with augmented, it would go first, third would be normal, and fifth would be sharp. So it would be C, E, G sharp, D, oh, that's an F. Let me just take that real quick. D, F sharp, and A sharp for your augmented D chord. And with all these, you would go based on, so the first is what you use for your key. So say I'm in the key of C, or I want a C chord, and the C right here is your ba your root. You would use this to, to determine your um, key signature, so on and so forth. If you came to the D, in the key of D, you would use F sharp and C sharp. And so with these chords, take a picture of this, pause if you need to, get this down, because I'm about to erase it. So now I'm gonna teach you how to do chord inversions. First, with the chord inversion, you have your root chord, you have first inversion, and you have your second inversion. So the root would be the first, the third, and the fifth. The first inversion would be the third, the fifth, and the first. And the second inversion would be fifth, first, and third and then you'd go right back to the root. So with the root, with if we're using our C chord, it would go C as our first, E as our third, and G as our fifth. And with C, we stay in the same chord, we just move the notes around. So your third would be E, your fifth would be G, and your first would be C. So this is the exact same chord, they're both a C, a C chord. They're just moved around into an inversion and I'll show you how to do that later and why we use inversions when I play the piano. So we still have a C chord and for its second inversion it would go G for the fifth, 
For the first, it would go C, and for the third, it'd go E, and so on and so forth. With these chords, use the inversions for every one of these, but you use the first, the third, and fifth. The, the numbers are going to be the, your main helper here, but I'm going to show you on keyboard how we, you use these and put these into your playing. So now that you have the knowledge of the music theory that I showed you, I'm going to show you how to apply it in Amazing Grace and you don't have to just use it in Amazing Grace. You can use it in any song that you like to, you popular song that you know. But I'm going to show you how to play Amazing Grace using the knowledge that I just gave you. So on the piano, it would go C1, which would be E, G, C. And then you would go to an e, uh, C major, second inversion. And then to an F root. F major root, and then back to the C1, to an A minor, and then to a G1, and then you would go to a C root, saying the same thing, and then you'd go to an F root. minor first inversion to a D minor first inversion and then to a C back to the root and first inversion and what that all sounds like together would be like this So now that you have the knowledge of those chords, you can now put it in any song that you'd like to play. As long as you look up the chords, now you can put it on the actual keyboard and play it for your friends, an event, a church thing, or your family, anybody that you want to show off to as a cool trick or something, or if you want to get started in music and become very well versed in it. This is where you start off, and um, yeah, just you can use this knowledge and continue on with it. I thank you guys for watching.